Hello, hello, and welcome. My name is Mini Betrayal, and this is Satisfactory. So, um, I did a little bit of work since the end of the last episode. Um, yeah, uh, you can ignore the somewhat suspicious chain of lookout towers there. That's just how I managed to get up here on the cliff. Um, but yeah, as mentioned, I was going to do a little bit of work off screen to sort of figure out how I'm going to go about building the rest of this factory. And uh, I may or may not have gotten a little carried away. Uh, but you can, uh, now I've done this much, you can see the influence that I've sort of drawn from Factorio. So you've got the main, uh, the, the main bus running down that way with the production lines coming off the side. So um, I've got various resources being pulled into underneath the space elevator. Under there is just a complete mess at the moment. I'll show you that in a little bit. Uh, then the raw resources come up there. We've got uh, iron smelting, copper smelting, um, iron plates, I think that is, and then possibly iron rods. We'll go down and have a closer look at each of them. Um, so essentially, I have done all but one of the things that can currently be made with the constructor. Um, so I've left off the last one just so I can sort of show you the process. Okay, so let's fly. Uh, actually, I did a bit more research as well. So, um, whip and flump. So yes, we now get a nice, easy descent. Um, so yeah, I've currently got four resources coming in. I've got iron, I've got copper, I've got limestone and quartz as well. The quartz deposit that I had way over there, um, if I zoom in, 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 zoom in. Uh, yeah, you can see that is a line of quartz which comes from over there. In fact, it's two lines of quartz, no less. All right, so let's get up close and have a bit of a closer look at how this works. Oh, in fact, I just had an idea. Um, two ideas, in fact. Firstly, uh, I mentioned that I was doing a bit more research. That hard drive we researched last episode, um, that finished. It turns out it was an alternate screw recipe, so I can make screws directly from my iron ingots. So that's good. Um, and also, we've got a few more tickets now. So, yeah, I've turned this off simply just to help keep... In fact, I might actually... No, I'll, I'll leave that there. Um, but, yeah, I've turned it off just so it's idling so the main base doesn't run out of power quite so often. Uh, but anyway, tickets. I want a factory card. Buy, please. Uh, new equipment. So, let's go to the equipment bay. And factory cart, trademark. What was that? I need two rotors. I can do that. Okay, so here we are by the space elevator. Uh, let's see how this works. Isn't that dinky? Uh, oh, let's get my cut back. Very important, of course. And there we are, hunched forwards. Okay, so yeah, looking to the right, this one here smelts iron into iron ingots. Then we've got copper into copper ingots. Then, oh, I need to move this way a little bit. What's this one? Let's have a closer look. This one appears to be iron ingots into iron plates. And then iron ingots into rods. Oops. Then over here, uh, iron ingots directly into screws. And then, what's this? Iron ingots, oh no, that's not iron ingots, that's copper ingots into copper sheet. A little bit difficult to see at night. Um, copper ingots into wire. 
uh, wire into cable. And what's this? Ah, Caterium! Yes, I missed that. Caterium into Caterium ingots. That's another resource we've got coming in. And then ingots into Quickwire because they can be made in the constructor. No additional parts needed. Limestone into concrete. And then last on the list so far, we have quartz into quartz, I guess. Raw quartz into crystals. So, yeah. Uh, now, a couple of things to mention. So, I've kept everything as neat as possible. In fact, let's go up here. It's a little bit taller, easier to see what's going on. Okay, so, in cases like this where belts cross, what I have done is actually n not worry about sort of going up and over or under. So they actually phase through each other. Um, I did a bit of experimentation with you know, making belts go up and over and under each other. Um, I also looked at uh, purely aesthetic options. So something like now if I put a splitter down there, it doesn't actually make any difference uh, if the belts themselves actually phase through it. So you can have like you know, a black box here where something comes in from the right, goes out to the left, in from the front and out to the back. But I don't like the look of it, so I decided not. Um, so I've just got these like uh, stackable pole, um, what was it, conveyable stacker poles um, to just make some kind of pillar thing going up there. Ooh, frame rate. There we go. Oh. All right. So, yeah. As I said, we've got one more thing we can build with just a constructor at the moment. So let me lay down a little more foundation, and then I can sort of show you the pattern that I'm working to. Okay, so first thing um, you, you might have noticed from up there, uh, we were standing up there have, looking down at this, that the the bus is actually kind of diagonal at the moment. Um, that's it's just because of how it works with um, each new thing we add to the main bus here. Uh, you can see um, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve items on it now. This is about to be the thirteenth. Lucky number 13, I guess. Um, yeah, each new thing that gets added, the production buildings have to shift further out of the way. Uh, I could have put them on the other side, but I didn't, so I'm not. Um, so yeah, we had to come out another foundation. Now, we want a constructor. And he goes there. Okay, and today we're making silica. So... I also haven't been working to perfect ratios, um, but if I feed in a belt, I can feed two and some of a third thing making raw quartz, and that will give me one and some of a belt coming out. So two belts coming in, sorry, one belt coming in, two belts coming out, three machines. So I need another two machines, which means I need a few more foundations. Okay, two more, uh, not foundations, two more constructors. And then we've got some of these guys coming in. Now, one belt is going to feed all of these. So this guy uh, lives in the center of this one, lined up with that last uh, constructor, two spaces back, with another one there. And then over on this side, we have one there. And I'll put a second one there, but I won't use it just yet. We've got a belt leading from that to that, and that should be lined up. Excellent. Then we get splitters. Line ourselves up with the input of this. And pop that there. Line ourselves up with the input of this. Pop that there. Okay, and then you. That belt comes down and into there. You go into there, and you go into there. And I get rid of that. And he comes from up there, because remember, everything is at least two spaces up unless it's actually working in the factory production bit itself. Output side is quite similar, so I'll get that done. Et voila. And then this output will need to join the bus. So 
where's this guy? So that guy there is the most recent thing that's been added, the quartz crystals. That's on that line there. And it wants to be... Yeah, in that position. So we come... So one space over and then another space, like that. And then that's where he wants to go. So that is going to be how this silica joins the bus. Okay, so I'm not going to fill in the rest of it just yet though, because we need to actually, first, before I forget, because I always forget when I've been doing this, let's stick in some power. Power comes from back here somewhere, uh, this line, and hooked up there, okay, and we've got, I've, at the moment I've got six biofuel generators working on this, but we'll, we'll work on improving that at some point, and I should also configure these things, because as found out in the last episode, they're not going to work if they ain't configured, silica, and that one was making silica, yeah, yeah. Um, in fact, I've just realised, or remembered I should say, that we're actually having two output paths. So this is actually wrong. Um, so I'm going to get rid of that, and that. And because it's slightly different, I will show you how it's different. So... Yeah, so that just feeds into that merger as before. Now this last one here, I'm actually going to put another one there, another um, stackable conveyor pole, stackable conveyable, or whatever it was I called it in the last series. And that is going to go up and above. Now I know quite well that these ratios are not perfect. I can't really just mix those two because they're making 37 and a half per minute. I'm not working to perfect ratios. Um, things just become less modular and ickier and gooier and bleh uh, if you work to perfect ratios. My idea is if I do it like this, then when I come to upgrade either input or output, then I can extend this as needed. Still won't be perfect ratios, but it's close enough. One belt can support up to three of these. Certainly not more than three. And two of these can fill a belt, but a third one needs a second belt. So that's as much ratioing as I'm doing. Okay, now this input. Uh, this needs um, the raw quartz, which is over here. Those two belts I mentioned earlier that come from way over yonder, uh, they make their way all the way up here. And I've got one going off to feed the quartz crystal and the other one stepping down. Is there a monster underneath me? I thought I heard something hissing. Hmm, never mind. Um, oh, there's a, a thing over here. Wait, is this the one we already did to get that other hard drive? Uh, no, you need ten rotors. You know what? I think I might actually have the stuff on me to do that. Okay, ten rotors. Go. Yoink! That was easy. Okay. Um, right, there is a yellow slug there, but I can't get it because I don't have explosives yet. And there's a bouncy boy there. This is far more fun than it has any right to be, really. Ah! Ow. Oh, my frame rate is not fond of that, though. Alright. Okay, uh, so, yeah, this guy wants to come along this far. So let's put down some poles where we need them. Okay, so that bit is easy enough. Okay. But then this needs to cross over the whole bus, which requires an awful lot of stackable conveyor poles. 
or conveyable stacker poles. Okay, so... Let's do this! Okay, so that's all of that done, and then these need to have their belts wired up. Oops, what happened there? Okay, so that's the long one going across, and then of course the side ones need doing as well. Okay, great. Now it all needs to be hooked up. So these guys want their inputs coming in from this side. Uh, so this one here, by the way, is empty. That should have iron ingots on it. It's just at this point I'm using all the iron ingots I'm making. That's copper ingots. That one there, what is that one there? I think that's iron plates, yeah. Iron rods. Screws. Copper sheets. Copper wire. Cable. Uh, this one I think is Caterium ingots. Again, all being used to make quick wire at the moment. Um, quick wire. Concrete. Quartz crystal. Okay, now again, you will notice that I haven't connected the ones that go above, like just the one. So the quick wire there and the iron plates. That's because they're not actually involved in all of this crossover business, so they will join directly to this part, um, which is like the end of the next bit. So, more stacker pole conveyables. Okay, so that's that bit done. Then the outputs need to be hooked up as well. So, more belts. Okay, so there's the quick wire. The extra line of quick wire should be able to reach all the way from there whoop, to there. So that's how that second line of quick wire gets there, and the iron plates will be the same. And there we go. Now all that remains to be done to actually get that thing working is to hook in this one. Now I am going to put in one more line of stackable conveyor poles there. Uh, strictly speaking, I think not necessary, but remember, this is my line that I don't want to build anything on. That just helps me remember that. In fact, I have an idea. There we go. Now we have a nice little channel to remind myself, you know, not to mess with that. And in fact, my fix-it cart can live in there. Apparently this guy has an autopilot as well. That cannot be good for your back. Anyway, so yeah, that is that. Okay, now uh, let's head back to the hub. I want to check some things. In fact, we can use our new channel to do just that. Just turn around here and on we go. Alright. Here we are again, hub. It's been a while. Well, for me. Actually, no, it hasn't really, because we came back here to make the rotors for the car. Uh, this is what I want to look at here. So, what I'm looking for is what of these give us new things that might be created? And I don't think... Yeah, so th this one here, steel beam, I think, uses only the constructor, maybe the steel pipe as well. But I think we've sort of run out of we major stuff to do now that doesn't actually use the assembler. So um, I need more rotors, in fact. Hang on. Okay, so let's just plop down a assembler and have a look to see what his recipes are. 
Okay, so reinforced iron plate, modular frame, black powder, rotor, smart plating, and fabric. Um, oh, by the way, a little white lie. If you look in the constructor menu, there are other recipes down here. These all rely on, I guess, spiked rebar doesn't. But they all rely on biological products that can't be, or well, at least as far as I know, can't be automated. So I've skipped them out. Um, okay, so what I'm thinking. Now the rotors are required to actually build these guys. Uh, mind you, so are the plates. So, yeah. We will probably also need to expand production before moving too much. Uh, expand production of existing materials before moving too much into these because these guys need a lot of stuff. Um, okay, let's have a quick look at something else, and that is coal power. Okay, so I'm formulating a plan in my head. I want to move on to the next stage of production, the next stage of the factory, which uses the assemblers to make more complex parts. To do that, I need to bump up production of my like, base tier, the, the one product things, the constructed items, rather than the assembled items. Uh, to do that, I'm going to need to boost my power situation, or at least I would like to. I don't know if where I'm at on the need scale for that, but I want to. Um, so we've got this coal, um, coal power thing to do. To do that though, I think I'm going to take another leaf out of the Factorio book. And I'm going to build me a mall. So a place where all of the stuff gets delivered for human pickup, so I don't have to run around picking things up from machines like I did a little earlier. Huh. How might I do that? Alright, so I've been doing some thinking and I have a potential solution to this. Essentially, every new product that comes out that I want, if I were to put a splitter here, I could send some of it back over to this side of the bus, way over here. Uh, I need to finish filling in some concrete over here. And then, much like I've all, I've already got some things going like the wrong way on the bus to get back to the space elevator. Um, but if I had more items going back, then I could also put my mall at that side of the bus. It's a lot of work. It is an awful lot of work. I really wish I'd thought of this when I was designing. Alright, so I have come up with some ideas about exactly how to approach that mall problem. Um, I don't think it's going to be some... I don't think it's going to be something I do this episode because it's just far too much work to do. But also, just to give myself some like more options, if nothing else, I want some of these guys. I think. Okay. Let me let me grab all that stuff. All right. What do I need to build the glass ones? Just concrete as well. That's great. Okay, so yeah, I will work on that between episodes. Uh, what are we at for runtime on this one? You know what, I, I think... Yeah, I think I will leave it there. So between episodes, I will work on a mall, and I'll explain that when we get back. Um, next episode, we will get to work on coal power, and then following that we can start expanding into bigger and better things. But, yeah, for now, there's a, just an alien cow sitting there. I can't pick that up. It's odd. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yes. For now, uh, I will... Actually, let's, let's finish up on top of that. And so as the moon rises over an alien factory scape, I will say thank you very much for watching, and I will see you again soon. Yeah.